Hey, what's going on guys? It is Chris Chavez here with Fandroid.com. Uh, today I have a really special video for you guys. Uh, I am going to be taking you through, or showing you, the all new Swift Key Flow Beta. Now this was, or has been teased for absolute weeks now, and it's been, I don't know, I feel like I've been counting down the days until this came out. And uh, tonight's the night that I get to show you guys what it's all about. Now Swift Key Flow is actually the follow-up to Swift Key 3, which you can find in the Google Play Store right now. Uh, it's a paid keyboard or paid app. It's a keyboard replacement that will, um, I guess its claim to fame is that it has the world's most advanced prediction engine. So when you type stuff, uh, it just knows exactly what you're trying to say, even if you miss spaces and do a bunch of other stuff. Uh, somehow it does some sort of crazy Jedi mind tricks and it knows exactly uh, what, what you're trying to, trying to say with prediction. It's crazy. So uh, people love it. People absolutely go nuts over this. But the one thing that SwiftKey has been lacking is a swipe function. Um, so swipe, there's kind of been two camps. You have people that love swipe or swipe beta since it's just been perpetually in beta forever now. Uh, and you have SwiftKey. So it kind of sucks because uh, Swipe has been getting a little bit better with like kind of prediction stuff and then SwiftKey has just, you know, no way of swiping. But that's about to change or it's all about to change today. Uh, they're actually making SwiftKey Flow Beta available uh, in their VIP forums. So you're not going to find it in the Google Play Store just yet. They want to make sure they fine tweak it and get feedback and do all this stuff before they release it in the Google Play Store. Especially since it is a paid application. So I just want to give you guys the rundown and show you guys how it all works. So. Uh, flow is pretty awesome. Just there's actually kind of in a way two versions. There's flow or two main features of SwiftKey flow. There's flow and flow through space. So flow just you just use it the same way you would do it with swipe. So um, hey guys, this is SwiftKey flow. Uh, did everything perfectly. Uh, you can see here that it actually was able to, it knew that I was saying Swift key and that when I swiped through flow, it automatically capitalized the F. That is impressive, I have to say. Pretty, pretty, pretty amazing. Um, let me show you guys now <laughs> exactly how well the flow through space works. So typically when you swipe, you just saw right now, um, you would swipe a word, lift your fingers, swipe another word, lift the finger, start another letter, swipe the word. Um, with flow through space, you no longer, well, in a way, uh, I guess Swift key is able to put spaces without having to tap or lift your finger. You can just swipe down to the space bar. So let me see how well that works. Okay, now this is the all new flow through space. Now this is the all new flow through space. So it did it. It absolutely nailed it. That was actually really, really cool. So uh it is pretty neat i mean not having to lift your finger i actually don't have any oils on my finger it's kind of frustrating I, um i wash my hands with bleach since i'm ocd <laughs> it's pretty bad so my finger has a lot of drag but if you have some greasy fingers or you just ate some tacos or something um swiping like that won't actually hurt as much as it does for me but uh, it, it worked it worked pretty darn well now uh, my only complaints are in regards to flow and flow through space is there are some stuff or ways that you can kind of get it to freak out or not really know what the heck you're trying to do so uh, I'm gonna show you guys a couple of words that it just absolutely butchers so just with flow in general it's hard to type some some words it's frustrating but like it's so if I go to it's 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 uh, it is tits. It is, it is tits, 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 tits. <laughs> So you can see it just, it never put the apostrophe in there, which is kind of frustrating. With swipe, it's actually kind of cool because you would tap, or you would swipe down to where the punctuation would be. So I would swipe down to V and then do it, but it doesn't work with this one. Um, it would actually spell out orbs. So, kind of slacking there. Kind of slacking. Um, again, this is beta, so there is room for improvement, and I'm sure SwiftKey might be on it, and they'll probably do something crazy with that later. But 
uh, just certain words like that. Now, swift key, I mean, the flow through space, there are some weird things that you can get it to kind of tweak out as well. So if you try to type something like, or swipe something like, it hates me. So if I go, it hates me. It, I hate me. Okay, that's fine. Let's try it again. It hates me. I hate me. It hates me me and it just kind of tweaked out um it hates me or hate me it hates me i hate me um uh, sometimes it's kind of frustrating because it'll actually and i got it to work the first time i shot this video but um it hates me will sometimes spell out batsman it'll say i'm batsman which is really, really weird. Uh, okay, so there's that one. Um, say you're trying to say it's the best food in the world. So it's the best food in the world. Is the best good in the world. I don't know why it always predicts that, but it does, and it's very frustrating. So you can see here, it's got the capital T and the capital B for the best really annoying and frustrating and it's impossible to get it to say it's the best food in the world um you can try typing it out a couple times to kind of get it to program or swift key so it can learn what you're trying to say but even then it doesn't really come out that right um super frustrating so um and it's the part that makes it really frustrating and this is i guess what flow through space is that even though you can just swipe and go crazy and do your little thing uh, it's it's almost impossible or it's just really frustrating trying to go back and edit to correct some of the mistakes so if I go back on swift key you would just tap the word anywhere in the word no matter where the cursor was at if as long as it was in that word um, either before or after you it'll pull up a list of possible swipes so possibilities are words that you might have swiped and it does a really good job of correcting those uh, with swift key it's not giving you the possibility of swipes. It's literally giving you what comes after TH and then it tries to predict it from there. So frustrating and not only that, you have to really place it at the end of the word just to maybe try to get it to predict fully a whole different word. Ah, drives me absolutely nuts. So um, that part is super duper frustrating. Um, uh, I just I don't like that at all so I guess overall I would give flow a uh, two thumbs up I mean overall it works pretty well getting to spell out weird things like it um, is a little bit frustrating but when it comes to flow through space that part is more or less uh, broken for now so I'm gonna give that one thumbs up or one thumbs up and uh, until maybe they can fix it later I feel like a uh, swift keys advanced prediction engine actually kind of throws it off because there's just way too many possibilities of things you could be saying when you go down to the space bar and you're doing a bunch of crazy weird swipes like that so I don't know uh, I feel like they might be able to fine tweak it a little bit more um, until then I guess I'll reserve final judgment until the the final build comes out in the Google Play Store but for now it's free uh, the license, I guess, the keyboard will work in your phone until January when it'll expire and you have to actually pay for uh, Flow to come out, I guess, um, in the Google Play Store. Uh, SwiftKey 3 is actually $4, so I'm guessing the price is going to stay there. But for all the people that actually downloaded SwiftKey 3 or SwiftKey 2 or SwiftKey X, like on the G1 back in the day, you don't actually have to pay anything to upgrade to this. It's just you're going to find an update on SwiftKey 3, and then you're going to start having this cool new flow functionality. Uh, big, big thumbs up to the SwiftKey guys for doing this. Um, that is just really awesome. But uh, for the sake of this video, it's getting a little too long. I just wanted to um, end it right here. Uh, for links, make sure you guys hit the description down below so you can take it to the post where I'll have pictures and screenshots and I'll have links to where you guys can download SwiftKey Flow Beta. Uh, and it's absolutely free, so don't be afraid to click that link. So with that, I'm Chris Chavez of Fandroid.com. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.